Okay, here we are with uh, the reason I've been cutting all these pieces of quartz. Um, we're making a high voltage feed through here. And since you can't get thick wall quartz, and quartz is the insulator of choice, we uh, cut all these pieces. And here's the high voltage feed through. The main outer tube is Pyrex because there's certain advantages to Pyrex it being slightly conductive it tends to equalize the voltage drop along it. And this piece is all telescope. Sometimes with a little effort. And these last ones are very tight fit. And I cut it a little too long because I forgot about this step that I have down here. Because what I meant to do was have each piece be a little shorter than the piece um, surrounding it. So back to the lathe to make another little cut. But uh, that's no big deal and that's essentially what our assembled high voltage feed through is going to look like. Um, that, pla that white plastic is HDPE, which unfortunately is the only plastic I had of the right dimensions to make that out of. And it's required because the pressure of uh, the air will try to push this thing into the vacuum tank past the O-ring clamp and the fancy uh, Kurt Lesker tube coupler. So we set up a plastic clamp uh, with three set screws with the finest Chinese inner tube rubber protecting glass from the end of the uh, set screw and this lets me uh, uh, control that creep and also uh, by putting various shims between uh, it and the end of the coupler you can control how far into the vacuum tank it protrudes and get a real repeatable setup. So um, the reason to develop all those techniques I was showing you on the lathe is so I can actually make something worthwhile here. And uh, my total cost is somewhat less than the cost of an equivalent um, feed through from Lesker, but the big advantage here is that this quartz doesn't really cost that much. It's only a dollar to a foot, and uh, when it inevitably fails in hot deuterium, uh, it's pretty easy to change it, and it doesn't cost you any money. You don't go out and have to spend another, you know, 1500 bucks or whatever they charge for a good high voltage feed through. You spend two bucks to fix it, and it's pretty easy to fix. That's it for now.